Some hadith even they say he agree with him in five times, five things. Some they say six, some they say seven. Yes. Yeah, can you hear me? I do. Go ahead. Yeah, so Allah revealed the verse uh, according to you know situation. Hmm. So Umar Anhu he wanted us something to take place, and then Allah revealed accordingly. So it, what happened was the uh, um, what Allah willed. It was uh, it was basically how can I say now? It was it's like what Umar Anhu wanted. It, it it was like united on that. I don't understand anything. Anyone understand anything? Try to explain better, please. Uh, why Allah is copying Umar? Umar is the one who said that to the wives of Muhammad. So why Allah he copy exactly what Umar said and even using the word maybe? Umar he have the right to say maybe because he is not sure. Maybe it's a wish. I you know I pray to God to do something right. But Allah he copy copy the word of Umar. He made a mistake because he copy it first of all, and this is proof that the Quran cannot be from God. Because you are copying a man. How you Muslim you say to us, make a Quran like this if you can. And then we find that Allah himself is copying the Quran from a man. His name is Omar. Mm, but I, I want to go back to the prophecy you were talking about. You're not you're talking about this. No, no, we want to focus on this a little bit, my friend. Because your, your, your brother before you, he tried to run away to escape it. This is the disaster. If nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah. How Allah he copy exactly as Omar said and make it Quran, but nobody can make Quran like Quran of Allah. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, I don't have the answer to that one. Okay, well, I respect your, your honesty and then we let us move then. Now, the second question will be, as long as Omar he said, it may be your Lord, he will divorce you. Shouldn't Allah... Even if you like the idea of Omar and what Omar he said, change the words and say, I divorce you. What it means, it's your Lord. Who is the one who's talking? And why he's saying it's maybe? Um, can, I, can I read it? I haven't read it properly. Go ahead. You, you, what do you want to read? The hadith? You want to read the hadith or uh, you want to read the verse? Uh, the hadith first and then. Okay. Uh, if, we you go. Zoom, yeah, if you can zoom out a bit. Okay. You want to read from the beginning to the end or what do you want? Yeah, beginning. Okay. okay, go ahead. Read. Yeah, we zoomed up. Read so I can uh, I can move down because the hate is so long to uh, to have it in 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 one shot. Oh, it says my lord agreed with me in three things. I said, Oh, Messi, Allah, I wish we took the station of Ibrahim uh, Ibrahim Islam as our praying place for some of the prayers. So came the divine revelation. I take you the station of Ibrahim as a place of prayer. For some of the prayers so yeah i understand that okay and then the second one about the hijab and as regards the uh, wailing of the woman i um yeah i can't see that okay and then uh, last one the pro uh, the prophet he have fights with his wives and then omar he came and he spoke to the wives and muhammad he heard what what he said and allah he sent the verse as omar is saying how in the world can be i mean how clear it is that the one is saying maybe it is omar and Muhammad he copy it and that this is why I make it look funny because God he knew if he would divorce them or not God he knew what you what would happen to them once the wives of the Prophet made a united front against the Prophet and I said to them it may be if he the Prophet divorced you all hmm. that his Lord Allah will give him instead of you a wife better than you hmm. so this verse the same as I had said was revealed exactly word by word but I mean the the same as I had said it does in brackets. No, no, no. It says there. It may be. It says here, it says my friend, Arabic. my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Do, do you speak Arabic? Yeah, uh, I understand a little bit. If okay. you go well, to the Arabic, I yeah. Uh, but uh, the, even the English is clear. I mean, it says clearly that it's the same as I say. The same as I said. It's not like uh, it's and even it says it may be if he if he the prophet divorce you. If we go to the verse on the Quran, it says exactly the same. Read it. It may be. If he divorce you, his Lord, you see this is a translation, he says that Allah, it doesn't say in Arabic Allah, it says his Lord. Exactly the same. Asa yeah, yeah. in talakunna. So, maybe his Lord, it's exactly as he said. And this is explained why the word it may be is there. Because this is not, what it was not the statement of Allah, it was the statement of a man, his name is Umar al-Khattab. But I mean, the, the the full verse is obviously not from Umar Adi'an. The full verse is uh, like it's only that part, um, you can say just that starting part. 
I mean, th- that's, that's my, the my, my friend. My friend, the whole the whole verse is very s- small. The translation make it big, but as you see in Arabic, it's so small. So uh, 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 Omar, Omar, he says that Allah, he agree with me. The verse came as I said. He didn't say part of it. The verse came as I said, as you see. So and what they exchange you? I mean, how how in the world can th- that? Uh, this is not even disrespect. The Arab they used to exchange women. Exchange is not divorcing them. You see here in Arabic it says divorce them. This is a false translation. In Arabic it says you who which means he is going to exchange women. Okay, how you can exchange them? It says in Arabic a divorce, but here it says actually it says here in translation exchange. Exchange is yeah. something the Arab they used to do. Exchange, yeah, change, change them. Exchange mean what? Exchange means I take your wife, you take my wife. That's what the Arab they used to do. So they exchange women. So you go to your neighbor, he says, Are you bored with your wife? You don't like her? Okay, you know what about you take my wife, I take your wife. This is exchange. This is what you bet did. This is what the Arab they used to practice. So what kind of God he says to him, if you if if you know to the women, if you don't repent, okay, and it may be his Lord will divorce you. And yet the one is talking is Allah. First of all, Allah He knew if they would repent or not. Secondly, Allah He knew if they, He's going to divorce them or not. Number three, He knew if they will repent or not, and they will. Yes, yeah, so what? It's so, a warning to them. Okay, so why He is saying to them this a threat? Because uh, of the of the, what what they were doing, the, whatever what they, what, they were doing. What they were doing. It's a warning. What what they it's were a doing. To them okay, that, what they were know, doing. The let, let, me, let, let me let me ask you what they were doing. Um. Can't remember exactly why it was. It's something that uh, they wanted the uh, worldly life. Or what they want? What they wanted the worldly life. Like, like you know, what? They wanted money. I think and yeah. What, what do you want? I don't understand. What the worldly life? So they wanted like uh, uh, I think they wanted more money or something. No. Or they desired no, the world. No, no. They found Muhammad having sex with the with with, with the women in their bed, and any woman she have the right to uh, to object that. I mean, show respect. What kind of a prophet you bring uh, uh, the maid? And you take off her panty and you jump in the top of her in the bed of your wife so the women they are right and this is a man you know he will go he used God to always to 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 to, sh- to shut up the the, the the women look what happened he honored the, this he, is he honored the wife. no he, he had, did not he honor the women. no he, he did not honor them he did not read with me tafsir jalalain this is your scholar it says oh prophet Muhammad he made a verse says why you forbid yourself what Allah made lawful for you Okay, what Allah made lawful for him? Let us love together. Oh, Prophet, why are you to forbid what God made lawful for you? Uh, 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 in in terms of the Coptic handmaid Maria, since when the handmaid is lawful for the Prophet to have sex with her? And what kind of a Prophet? He slept with the with the with the, with the with the handmaid in the house of Hafsa in her bed. So when Hafsa she said she came, she said to him, "Fi bayti wa ala sariri, in my house and in my bed, you are doing that." This is what happened. So they made the United Front of uh, against him because he is a mad person. He is not a decent man. Yeah, that, that's that, that's probably a, his slave girl. Uh, okay. No, a, okay, okay. Is, are you allowed in Islam to have sex with a slave girl? She is a gift, or only a captive? Even a gift is fine because that's no. trading of slaves. Okay, show me the verse in the Quran. It says it's allowed for you to have a sex with a gift. The Quran speak about Malik Malakatul Yameen. Malakatul Yameen is only capture of war. Yeah, it's proven from the action of the Prophet because the okay. Prophet did it. So no, 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 yes. no. Are you following Allah or are you following the Prophet? The Prophet explains the revelation. No, no, so no, 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 no. He did not explain. No, no. Wait, 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 why you forbid what is made lawful for you? Can you show me the verse where it says that it made lawful for a Muslim man to have sex with the maid? I will give you ten thousand years to come back with the answer. You will not find no, it. No, it's yeah, but I'll be the slave. Uh, it says about the slave. No, 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 the right no. The versus. slave, no, the slave in the Quran. The one you can have sex with is the captured. Malikatul Yamin is captured. Is not just a slave. So where in the Quran it says you can have sex with a slave who is not captured? She was captured by the other person, the, the no. other country. Ah, no, he, no, he, she, he, she, no, he wasn't captured by him in war. He received her as gift. 
Yeah, yeah, the and why and why your gift. prophet he accept gifts a human being as gift? He opened the box, he found gifts a human being, and he start having sex with them. What do you think about that? And why and why he is doing that? And why he is doing that in the house and in the, in the bed of the wife? Do you think this is respectful? If you have yourself, if you are a Muslim and you have a maid, you bought a slave from somewhere, and now you, your wife she come and she find you in the top of her in her bed. Is that something you are proud about? Obviously, the wife will not be happy. But um, no, this is not the question. Is that a, is that a, is that a behavior of a gentle, good man, or this is a savage behavior, disrespect to the wife? I mean, that's his house. Huh? His house, house, his house. No, this is her house too. Yeah, it's his house. So why he so. say this is your house if it's not his her, her house? If this is the house of any woman, this is not her house. If this bed is for any woman, this is not her bed. So you are saying to me, you Muslim men, you marry a woman and then you bring a bunch of women, you sleep in the bed of the wife and the wife she can watch. And you have no problem with that. Are you there? Yeah, I am here. So you have no problem? Be honest with me. Do you have no problem? You bring women and your wife is in the house and you start having sex with the women and you have I mean, no this problem is with tafsir. that? I, I don't know if it's authentic if it's not. My friend, this is your tafsir, this is your Islamic website, this is a Jedi lane, it's not me. I mean, what's wrong with Muslims? I show them what, is, what their book says and they say to me, this is tafsir. So what about go with by who? By the Christian tafsir? This is your scholars. So what? where is the logic here? What? Wh where is the good man inside your prophet? I mean, okay, you want to have sex with a slave. Okay, what about you take her to the house of the slave? Or you, you buy a house. Why in the house of your wife, in the bed of your wife? And he is doing that with all the women to the point it, it says they made a united front against him. Why? Because all of them, they are suffering from the same problem. Be honest with me. If you have a daughter, uh, with my respect to your family, if you have a daughter and her husband, he had sex with the slave, in his house in the front of your daughter do you respect do you are you going to call your the husband of your daughter and say to him divorce my wife my, my daughter immediately do you really like, appreciate such a man be honest with me i mean islam allows uh, four wives so no this no this is not the question i'm not talking about four wives what, what do you mean four wives is that is that mean you can have sex with wives in front of other wives no, you can't do it. In front. Okay, so why he is doing that in the uh, when you do it in the bed of the wife? It's mean the wife she will be there. Here we go. The women she is there. She came. She got him busted. So when you do it in the house and in the bed of your wife, it's mean you don't care. She can come anytime. I'm where the women she will go. She don't work in yeah. the company. She don't work. Yeah, maybe, in the maybe she walked in. Huh? Maybe she walked in the room. Your voice is bad, my friend. Say again. Uh, I said maybe she walked. In the yeah, she walked in the room, but that wanted to change anything. Sorry, I have I have to hang up on you. Your voice is, is bad. So you see, guys, we prove it clearly that Muhammad is a false prophet, and he subjugate God to the point he make him serve his sexual desire. And why Muhammad is having sex with the maid? I mean, this, like you know, the story, the story of Abraham. Hello? 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 Speak louder, please. Hey, hello, how are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say to us? Well, this is um, very not true. This is what? This is a lie. What is a lie? Like you're saying the Prophet ﷺ slept with someone. Okay, what? Well, okay, is, okay. Who is the, who is the one who's making the lie? Who is the one who's making the lie? No, you're trying to make it seem like he did something bad. It is allowed. It's allowed to have sex with this with with, with the maid in Islam, right? Yes, it is. Um, the Prophet, if that happened, yes, it's allowed. Okay, so you if you have a maid at home, you have sex with your wife. You have sex with the maid. Whoever in the house, you have sex with it. Okay, so the Prophet was sleeping with his uh, maid and then the woman come and said, you know, like do this with the Prophet and he made a promise that saying, okay, I will not do, 
I will not do this again. And then Allah called back and said, Allah answered and said, Why are you saying you are not allowed to do something I have made lawful for you? Mm. What, so, yes. And, okay, can you show me the verse where, where in the Quran it says, Allah, he made it lawful for him? The eye you just reading. That one there on top. No, this verse, no. This, so are you saying to me, the Prophet, he made a mistake and he was foolish about what Allah, he allowed him to do? It wasn't a do? mistake. It wasn't a mistake. He said, I will... Uh, he said, I will not do it anymore. Okay. But Allah is... Yeah, he forbid you. himself. It says, Lima to uh, he, he forbid himself. Did he forbid himself from doing that? It says, to Harim. Uh? It says in Arabic, to Harim, which means he forbid. So why you forbid yourself from doing what I made lawful for you? So are you saying to me, the verse confirming that Muhammad, he broke the command of Allah and he forbid what he should not forbid? No, he didn't forbid it. He made a promise to his wife. No, he didn't forbid. forbid. No, it says in Arabic, Lima to Harim. Do you know what to Harim mean? Do you know what the yeah, word Haram mean? He, for, he forbid it upon thank himself you. only. So, oh, thank you. So he forbid something. Can you forbid something upon yourself? It's lawful. Is it allowed or this is a sin? Okay. Um, first of all, the thing um, that, you know, the, the main thing that you're talking about, mm. you can choose to sleep with her. You can choose not to sleep, even a slave woman. You can choose to sleep with her, you can choose show not to sleep me, with her. Show me the so when the you show me no reference. You show me this only this verse now? Because when Allah he says to him, Why you forbid what Allah made lawful for you? It's mean he'd lawful for him from before. So it can't be this verse. You have to show me a previous verse before this one because it's made it says Allah he made lawful for you. So Muhammad here supposedly he should know better that Allah he made lawful for him. Where is the verse that says that Allah he made it lawful for him? The one you are reading now is saying, I have made a law for you. Why you my friend, this, cannot be, the, this is cannot be the verse because he says he made, 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 made in the past. Why you are forbidding what Allah made, made lawful for you? Made you okay, you where, is, where is the verse? Okay, where is the verse that says Allah he made lawful for him to rape, to rape slaves? First of all, who is the Prophet to with? His, uh, his maid. He says that? Yeah, here we go. It says homemade. Oh, yeah, homemade. Here we go. Do you see it? This is your this is your Islamic website. This is your translation, and this is a Jalalain. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. Okay. If the Prophet is sleeping with his maid, you do realize then it's not forbidden, yeah? Why? But no, it says it says it says why you forbid what is not forbidden. Okay, where it says in the uh, Quran is not uh, forbidden for I'll you. Be honest. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, there was a verse before that allowed, but I'm just saying, according to this verse, it is allowed. That's all I'm saying. So, no, according to this verse, this verse is to correct Muhammad. Yes. Okay. To not but, but, something but, but upon yourself that Allah but, has allowed. But, but this verse confirmed already that Muhammad, he should know better. This is why he's asking him, why you forbid what I made lawful for you? Because if you do not know, then he should not say to him, why you forbid? He should say to him, this is allowed. This is allowed. That's it. Do not, do you not to say why you forbid. It says to him, this is allowed and you can't I don't, do it. I don't know, I don't know the best. Maybe there's a verse already saying the one your right hand possesses. Maybe that's the one. I don't know. Any, anyway, let, let us, let us, uh, let us focus here. What do you think about Omar saying that Allah, he took the Quran from me and he copied his Quran. Omar is the one who made this verse where it says it may be Allah will forgive you. Why Allah is copying it from Omar? What do you mean copy? Well, the, the hadith says in Sahih al-Bukhari that Allah, he took the verse as Umar, he said, and he made the Quran. Oh, Allah. Read it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Focus when you please. Huh? The hadith in the front of me, it says that Umar, he says, exactly as the Quran said. And Allah, he took it and he made the Quran. Read the hadith. Um, it's, yes, I, I know what it's saying. Hmm. So, how Allah, he, why Allah is copying from Umar? Who is Umar? Is, is Umar Allah? Who is Allah? Umar is the Sahabi of the Prophet. Okay. Who, who is the one who made Quran? Allah or Umar? Um, first of all, you have to realize something. Hmm. But I, um, you have to realize that if a Prophet said, even if the Prophet was to say the same word, even if the Another Arab that's not even Muslim would say the same word, and Allah revealed the same word. Mm. It's just meaning that Allah revealed it, it's not a big deal. What does that mean? For yeah. example, Umar, um, do you know how the Quran, the Quran was revealed because of, you know, on this, not on like one together, it was revealed because of activities that happened. Mm. So if I to say, if me as a Muslim was to say to the Prophet, oh, as in Umar, Umar, let's go back to Umar now. 
when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he captured a lot of, you know, war enemies. Mm. And um, he asked the Sahaba, oh Sahaba, what should I do? Some of them said, make them work for you for free, as in take them as your slaves. And then I think it was Umar who said, kill them all together. And then Allah said, do what Umar said. Mm. So again, Allah, he take what Umar said and he do it. Yeah, so, damn it, Allah okay, is, Allah so, is, um, okay um, guys, did, you, did, you, did you hear this? Did you hear this? So how the Muslims, they say that the Quran is already written in the house of Allah or in the tablet of Allah. And now the Prophet, he is discussing with his friends what we should do. And then Allah agree with Omar. That's mean the Quran is is not really what Muslims they no, say. No, for example, um, Christian, Christian friends. Hmm. For example, let's say you say, oh, all people, all my people hmm. do not do not eat this kind of animal because it is forbidden and then Allah will reveal all the people of this guy do not eat this type of animal because it is for I have made it forbidden mm. it doesn't mean he was copying you directly it might mean he was agreeing with what you said and he revealed it. and he was already gonna reveal it but he revealed it to make you more like okay let me ask you as, as, really okay, okay let us go with you now as long you agree that Allah he is uh, you know he, he he is revealing as they say but here you yes. notice that Omar he said exactly as the Quran. So why? Yes, it has, how, it how doesn't Omar, matter. Even though Omar was to say another seven lines after that, and Allah rebuked okay, the same seven lines. Okay, is Omar a prophet? Is, is Omar a prophet? Oh, no, Omar is the greatest. Okay, one of the greatest who is Sahabi the one? Who is the one inspired Omar to say the sentence exactly as it is written in the book of Allah? No, um, Umar bin Khattab said the sentence. He said it by obviously by his own will because he's got a will. Okay. And then Allah revealed the same thing that Umar said because he agreed with what Umar said. It's not a big deal. Thank you very much. So, guys, did you hear it? Allah agreed with Umar. Not a big deal. Okay, now we we, we have a Allah can agree. Allah can agree with anybody. Okay, even no the problem. No problem. The okay, now we ha we have a confirmation from you that Umar he said something. Allah agree with it. He take it. He put it Quran. So the Quran was in agreement between God and a man in earth not godly words so you just you just confirmed that this is the word of Omar Allah like it he agreed with it he put it in the Quran thank you very much yeah um, first of all um, you keep saying Allah like you know who you're talking about that's what makes me scared you know exactly who you're talking about but you still make um, you know who's Allah? Mean, the funny the funny, you know, the funny Allah, do you know, know even who's Allah do you know what even Allah mean you do not know you yourself, you're a prophet. I, I don't know the meaning. To okay, so you're the so one no, God. That's this, all this is why I say it's funny. You are saying to me, you are talking about Allah, but you do not know who's Allah, as if you know. You yourself, you do not know who's Allah. You do not know what I the know who Allah, Allah is. It's just I don't know what the word who means. Who's Allah? Who's express? Allah? Okay, go ahead. Who's Allah? Tell me. I'm listening. Allah is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. What, does that, mean? what, 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 is, what does that mean? He created the heavens and the earth and whoever's in it and whatever's in it. Okay, I'm not asking you what you do. Who's Allah? That's what Allah, that's who Allah is, the creator of the okay, heavens and the but, earth. But the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators. So how Allah is the best of the creators, but there's many creators? How, yeah, but he's the best of the creators. You, okay. you know, your question is not who makes is the, sense. Who is the other creators? Okay, who is there's the, a lot of creators, okay, name, but he's the best of the name, creators. Okay, name for me the other creators. You, me, and everybody on this no, earth. No, no, the creators are not me and you. We, we don't, because yes, we, cannot, we, are, we can no, create stuff. No, no, this is not a creation. A creation is you give life. This is what the Quran says. Okay, is that the one you wanna talk about? No, I'm asking you. You see, you open the topic. First of all, when it okay. says creation, it's not talking about death and life. It's talking about everything. Like who is the everything. one? Who is who is the one who make who make uh, the, the definition of what is a creation? You or me or Allah? Yes, the word itself is. Is I'm asking enough. you. I'm asking you who is the one who decide what is a creation? The Quran, right? Okay. Allah He said in the Quran. Language from Allah. Okay, yes. the, the Quran. The Quran says, chapter 20, 22, verse number seventy three. Oh my kind, I will give you an example. Why you worship yeah. someone who cannot create a fly? Exactly. So, so the creation here is not about the creation of a bicycle as you claim. If you can create a fly, then you are qualified to be God. That's that's a different verse. No, I'm asking you, do you agree with this verse? That the one Allah, oh, that Allah, 100%, 100%. Okay. so you agree that if somebody can create a fly, he is God. If somebody can create a fly, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I will give them everything, inshallah. No, no, I'm asking you. Do you confirm <laughs> that if somebody if some, can... Oh, yes, oh, okay, okay, okay. If somebody can create a fly, there's something to do with like a supernatural. I'm not, uh, this is another question. If somebody can create a fly, is he God? 
No, he's not God. It's saying Allah is the only God. It's just saying your God okay. can't create anything. For example, well, the Messiah on. can't so create you, a fly. So are you saying to me, you as a Muslim believe that there is other gods that can create the flies? There's no other God in the earth, on the whole universe that can't so create the flies. So why are you saying, to, uh, I'm asking you again, if somebody can create a fly, if there is someone beside Allah, according to you as a Muslim, can create a fly? No, there's no one besides Allah okay. that can't create So why Allah, he says, if you can create a fly, then you are a creator. And then he says in different verse that the best of a creator. No, he doesn't Allah. say that you're lying. It says that. Here we go. It says, no, why, it you says worship, why do you, why friend, do you worship say, the one yeah, yeah, Why you, you worship someone? He can't even create a fly, which means if he yes, can't create a fly. Mean that God for real, if they can okay. create a fly. So the creation here. Like the, 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 the creation, the creation your God confirm is a creation of life. Not making a table. That is not a creation. That's funny. I mean, since when God. He speak about himself. Are you saying to me that Allah is comparing to himself to the to the to Joe Steve, the, the one who made iPhone? Are you saying to me that Allah comparing to himself to the one who made the computer? And he's saying he's better than him? Are you saying that? First of all, you have to realize there's two types of creation: the creation of supernatural stuff and the creation that is on the is, earth. No, so no, when no, Allah no. says I am the best of creators, he means in everything I am the best of the creators. No, not the best of the created. He says the best of the creators. Yes, creators. Okay. Who, are, who are, are the, the other creators? Allah humans are, Allah, humans are creators. Allah, well. comparing, create Allah comparing himself to who? When he say, I am the best of the creators. Everything that exists on the earth. No. No. Because, and everything that exists because in the heavens and the whole universe. Because everything in the earth is a created, not a creator. So yeah, how, but the created okay, can so also how create. Allah, so how, no, how Allah compare himself? You have the intelligence to create. No, you don't have. The intelligence of create will not make you creator. Because simply you created you the are, laptop. No, you are just using what what God He gave you already. That's that's not the creation. What? This is the creation of come an on, idea. Come on. This Just is not about. Kind of like this is this not about the creating life. All of us renew that God is God for He create life. So yes. Uh, okay. So this is not about creating a computer. Allah He compare Himself to who? And can no, no. There's two different verses. The okay, one verse that says about life. Let me, let me, let me ask you. Can we, together, can we compare? Okay. In, in a second, everybody will laugh. Can we compare God? To someone he is not equal to God some people do but you can't no I'm asking you you as a Muslim are you allowed to compare God to something is not equal to God no no but okay. you already so do how you, Allah, so you see how you get yourself busted how but Allah you compare himself you Allah, do it how, how you compare Allah how Allah compare himself to us you just said to us you create a computer but, and you are the one yeah, who said I'm, to me I'm, I'm trying to like turn off you because you already compare <laughs> Allah to the Messiah the slave of Allah I am not comparing Allah to the Messiah because the Messiah is God Allah is the devil see that's where you go wrong you see God no, that's I why Allah says you can't tell see, me where the Messiah I ever can, created I cannot yes the Messiah created the bird according to the Quran don't you know <laughs> he created the same bird I think what he created what a sand, a bird out of a sand, out of mud. Oh well, Allah, He created the, the Adam from the mud too. Yeah, that's that's another subject. What are you talking? What do you mean that's the same? How Allah created Adam? He made some. Have you ever created? Have you ever hold created? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Today create okay. animals so, out of okay, ice. Okay, hold on. So now we agreed that Allah He made mud and He created Adam, and you agreed that Jesus made mud and he created the bird. So what the different? What are you talking about? Allah put life into the bird that the Messiah created no, and Allah no. put life the into verse Adam says, himself, the verse says, and Allah put no, life into the, the Messiah the verse, himself. The verse says that I breathe into it, Messiah, I breathe. Who is the one who breathed into the bird? Allah or the Messiah? Allah. Huh? Allah. Are you saying the Quran is lying? No, the Quran is not lying. Allah breathed into it. Okay, let's see. Because the Quran says different. Don't bring it up because you're going to embarrass yourself. Allah. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> You have to realize the Quran is the word of Allah, okay? So when he said I, Allah is speaking. Uh, I know I know the Quran more than you. Here we go. The Quran says, I no, breathe. Not. Okay, read with me. Here we go. This is your Muslim translation. I breathe. Does it say that? Uh, does it say I breathe? You speak Arabic? You know it's because yeah, I, 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 okay. no, I don't speak okay, Arabic. Okay, it says, فيه فيكون طيران. Yeah. So what yes, you are saying? Allah said, I will breathe into him. No, the Messiah is talking. Don't lie. Oh, brother, come on. You can't lie. Who is the one talking? Okay, wrong. here we go. Let, you, let, us like let us read the translation. Let us read the translation. Everybody is laughing. Here we go. And and uh, we'll make him a messenger into the ch uh, uh, children of Israel. Lou, come into you with sign from your Lord. He said, the Messiah saying, Messiah saying, I fashion for you from the clay. 
the likeness of a bird, and I breathe into it. Who is the one who fashioned the bird? The Messiah. Who is the one who breathed into the bird? The Messiah. So why are you are lying to me? You say it's not yeah, true. Yes, by breathing, you know, meaning life. A second you ago, a second it, ago, like a second sorry, ago. You see, sorry. you see how you corrupt yourself. A second sorry, ago. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. That was my big mistake. I'm okay, not so lie. you agree now? The one who breathed is the Messiah. Okay. Yeah, when the Messiah, Messiah breathed. Okay, thank you. So God. what? What happened when the Messiah he breathed into the mud? Explain to me. Allah, Allah bring the, Allah bring life to the bird. But the one who breathed is the Messiah. Yes, but Allah allowed it. it was, so what? I can. I uh, so. What do you mean allow it? <laughs> I mean this is funny. Uh, so the Allah he allowed the Messiah to have a breathe can give a life. Allah um, put some um, life. So, into, so now, um, so now you agree in that we have two gods. We have God. His name is the Messiah. He created him by breathing, the same as Allah. He created by breathing. Allah allow it. <laughs> for example, um, um Christian okay. let's imagine when Allah created Adam. Uh, my friend, thank you, thank you for calling. That's enough. We don't want to imagine, it's already exposed. <laughs>